Hi everyone, it's still June 12, 2014. I don't know how many of you know about this new federal bill to confiscate guns. Well, two weeks after Elliot Rogers stabbed three people and shot three more, a trio of legislators from California, including Dianne Feinstein and Barbara Boxer, have proposed a new federal law called the Pause for Safety Act. The law would allow anyone at any time, anyone at any time, to seek a firearms restraining order against an individual to prevent them from purchasing any new firearms and also to confiscate any firearms they may already own. They're so confident the law is good that states will be bribed into complying through a federal grant program. And you can check out the grant program by clicking on the red lettering right here. You can watch this press release by Senator Barbara Boxer but her, or see the press release on her website, that states the Pause for Safety Act would encourage states to take the following steps to help prevent gun violence. One, ensure that families and others can go to court to seek a gun violence prevention order to temporarily stop someone close to them who poses a threat to himself, herself, or others from purchasing a firearm. Two, ensure that a court can issue a gun violence prevention warrant that would allow law enforcement to take temporary possession of firearms that are in an individual's possession if the court determines that the individual poses a threat to himself, herself, or others. Three, ensure that law enforcement makes full use of all existing state and local gun databases when assessing a tip, warning, or request from a concerned family member or other close associates. The bill would bribe states to comply through a grant program the measure would create a new grant program, the Pause for Safety Grant Program, to help support these efforts. States that take action to enact these preventive measures would be eligible for the grants to provide resources for courts and law enforcement as they implement these measures. We must do everything in our power to keep firearms out of the hands of those who pose a serious risk of harm to themselves or to others. You. Senator Feinstein, pose a very serious risk of harm to all of us. She goes on to say, I'm pleased to work with Senator Boxer on this bill, which creates a new grant program to encourage states to allow family members and others to seek court orders to temporarily pro prohibit dangerous individuals from possessing a firearm. The bill would allow those who know the most about the condition of someone, oh my God, who poses a risk of committing violence to take steps to remove firearms from that individual's possession. It is so frightening what this country is becoming, has become, still is becoming. It is increasing, escalating the insanity, the utter inane acts that this Congress of ours is passing is just stunning. It's incomprehensible. What is really scary about this is I know from personal experience having done an internship in a domestic violence program when I was in law school. Restraining orders? First of all, judges will 99% of the time grant a restraining order because they're afraid to not grant it. They're afraid to not grant restraining orders because if something does happen, then it comes back at them for failing to grant the restraining order. So they almost rubber stamp restraining orders. And I have seen these restraining orders uh, allowed by the courts with absolutely no evidence and with evidence actually they should have ruled against the restraining order, but they still approved it. And those are the judges who are still caught in the matrix who are actually, you know, sitting on the bench thinking that they're doing a wonderful job and, you know, rendering these decisions in a country that has a constitution and is ruled by law. We now have so many judges who have been bought off and fulfilling the political agenda. These restraining orders will absolutely be rubber stamped as well. And it's going to destroy so many people's lives. We are in a war.